Yes, hello. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Hello, uh, Mr. Bap. Silence. Initiate protocol. Africa Canaries under Tanzania. There is fault line. You put twenty nuclear weapons under Tanzania. There is fault line. Once African continent breaks apart. But I am not for this. I. Uh, I believe I am. Uh, I am anti-racist now. I believe in African power. Yes. This is all I have to say. Listen, yeah. I cannot talk well uh, because I am on screen, <laughs> and uh, I I am drink. I am I have been fried with alcohol. My mind has been. Uh, crypt- uh, I don't even know how you say it anymore. But it's not crypto. What is it called? Uh, that uh, that fungus uh, that Cordyceps. cordycepted. My mind has been <laughs> absolute cordycepted, and. I I can I can't even talk about Africa protocol anymore. Actually, I want to go uh I want to go Thailand, but uh, what? nothing. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have nothing to say. Uh, I my mind has been, Would your guest uh, Dasha the, My mind has been, What about Dasha? My mind has been cordycepted with alcohol and plied. Uh I have uh, ask me anything. Well, what do you want to ask yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, I have one question. Did you, uh, at any point in your uh, long studies, come across this dissertation that we're reading? It seems like it was very influential upon you. No, I think it's maybe uh, other way around, but uh, this appears to be an interloper who has read my work and is plagiarizing me and is complete unaccepted. Yes. And... Uh, I will be lodging a letter with uh, the New York Times and the United Nations in protest. Well, yes, if, if we can support you in any way, we uh, we absolutely will. Uh, yes, uh, death to Costa and Alamaru. Uh, I think so. Say the word. I think so. But uh, uh, listen, uh, ask me anything you would like about uh, uh, Homer or such. I see, I see everyone talking Homer now. I don't know what... Uh, you want to talk about this, you know. Uh, there is a book by Calvert Watkins I've talked about frequently. Uh, it's a very academic book, but uh, he mentioned uh, in a few lines that although he has this professorial style, the name is Calvert Watkins. Again, if people want to read book How to Kill a Dragon, you can download from online. But uh, he talked about uh, how Pindar who is a later poet than Homer, actually preserves much older traditions than Homer does. And so he has uh, formulas that you can find also in uh, Vedic uh, Vedic literature, and I think other parts of uh, the Indo-European uh, epic literature in North <laughs> and so forth, uh, to talk about... Uh, no, do not listen to background. This, I'm, I'm, I'm being subtitled, but uh, he talked about how uh, there is long tradition of how to kill a dragon, and there is this formula, hero kill serpent, which of course is uh, <coughs> echoed in Christian Saint theology. <laughs> yes, it's Christ- uh, echoed in Christian theology also, but it's a very old formula. And uh, there is interesting uh, Valorian society interpretation of what this means, which is that the ancient uh, Indo-Europeans, call them Aryans for shorthand is better, they found uh, collectivist communes, the pre-Aryan commune that Nietzsche talks about in Genealogy of Morals, Essay 1, Chapter 5. That is really my source, along with some other things, for idea of long house. Uh, I do not uh, understand where people come up with I rely on Maria Gimbutas. I think Gimbutas is an idiot and I never really rely on her at all. Uh, But if you look at this genealogy of models, essay one, chapter five, and Robert Ruse and certain other topics, uh, excuse me, uh, sources I mentioned, the idea is, uh, 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 excuse me, I'm being sabotaged and and I'm quite (laughs) drunk as I talk. Someone has played me with alcohols. But, uh, 
the idea is uh, that the uh, ancient Aryans uh, found uh, communes, a uh, uh, complete uh, destruction leveling of mind, and they destroyed them. And this, this is what stands for the dragon. The dragon means the commune as it existed, let's say, in Neolithic Europe, and not just in Europe, but uh, uh, pretty much a default civilization all over the world. I don't know if I completely agree with this, but this is Valorian interpretation of what the dragon stands for. And so when you see in Aryan mythology, hero kill dragon, it refer to these, tra uh, these uh, uh, collectivist tribe communes that were destroyed by uh, uh, Aryan adventurers, if I may say. Is this okay enough to say for you tonight? This is this is wonderful. Um, I, I have one question. If you think this sort of uh, the emergence of the Greek genius, <laughs> yeah. can can other peoples also do this and uh, you know Greek, undergo yeah. the similar process of uh, the emergence of Phusis? I think it is possible. Think uh, sure. I just think that the the Greek people are really the first to have. Uh, uh, well, the first in this cycle of civilizations, because I believe there were countless others that we don't remember in Doggerland and elsewhere. But in this cycle of civilizations, maybe the reason Greek uh, culture, so to speak, uh, Greek philosophy is universal is because the Greeks found this idea that they could improve themselves over many generations into something better. And yes, other peoples have done so at times inadvertently, but the Greeks did so half consciously. And so, yes, I think other people could have undergo the uh, same process. Modern Europeans did too, in part. This is Nietzsche's great claim that the French resurrected this idea in love of women as opposed to the ancient Greek love of men, but that the French did so and invented the idea of romance in this process. I don't know. <laughs> this, is, this is very nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, your foids will have anything uh, useful to say to us, but uh, some people are asking me if Homer would support uh, TND. I don't know what TND means. Maybe this is Tuesday night drinks. Listen. But uh, would. Yes. Yes, this uh, touchy topic, and I am too drunk to discuss this now. I will say this that probably Homer himself would. But if you read uh, later Greek uh, thinkers, um, maybe, uh, I don't know, if I, Herodotus says some things about the, uh, Herodotus says some things about Ethiopians and so on that maybe should not be repeated on, the, on this and so on. So I don't know if they would all agree. But the Greeks thought actually the North Europeans and the Africans were very similar in their in their behavioral uh, suite, let's say, you know, they, they thought their stereotypes about both of them were very much the same. <laughs> yes, this, this is very important, the uh, continuation of uh, these quote-unquote stereotypes. They're very consistent over time. This uh, gives them some credence. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I do think maybe Homer would support that. Yeah, I, I, maybe <laughs> when I listen to Homer, when I listened to Homer first time, long time ago, Stephen Dates, who was mentally ill for sure, but he resurrected ancient Attic pronunciation of Greek. And when you listen to him recite Iliad, it really sounds like something out of Star Wars. I do believe that uh, ancient Greek preserved uh, tones of a much more ancient language and that uh, Homer's epics actually took place maybe outer space even. Yeah, I could have done a much better Star Wars than they did. I believe this. Uh, yes, uh, Aldebaran. Yes, it calls. Is this okay? <laughs> yes, yes. I Look, I must go soon. I'm, as I told you, I've been poisoned with alcohols and my mind is clouded tonight. I, I, it's not my fault that you decided to put this episode tonight. I would say initiate Africa Protocol X. 102 people will understand who I have communicated with what this means. <laughs> yes, uh, Solbra is on his way right now. Do not worry, uh, it will be done. Solbra has given the signal. Solbra has given the signal. This is my understanding as of two weeks ago here, the post, and people understood what this meant. Preparations are already being made. This yes, doesn't uh, mean this is very good. I don't mean anything. I'm 
People are trying to get me to be a political activist, but I'm a very moderate man of peace. Listen, I must go. Uh, I, I, uh, I, it's not my fault what I'm saying tonight. I cannot speak clearly. I've told you my mind. No, yes, yes. It. A cloud has come over it. I, yeah. yeah do, do not incriminate yourself anymore. Do not worry. I, I will take the flak. Uh, it's okay. I, I am your shield. Yes. I say unto you, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Look, I must go now. I cannot. I cannot. I... <laughs> no, th thank you for uh, stopping by. We appreciate it very much. Oh my God. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> uh, Dasha, is it true that you offered me money for a woman of ill repute here in Belgrade? Yeah, I was just kidding. That was a joke. I was. I didn't mean that, but but if you yes, that wouldn't be very Christian of you. No, huh? exactly, it's not. Wouldn't be very Christian of me. And um, but I just whatever. It was something I said to amuse myself. This isn't. I didn't mean it. And yes, I didn't realize well, you were. Uh, I didn't frankly, realize you were down so bad. Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize you couldn't afford a Serbian prostitute. So I just no, and no, you see now. Now I am I am the Serbian prostitute for older women. They use me. This is uh, this is. Oh, I'm, you've become a ramp You've become a ramp now. <laughs> that's good. That's a good path. <laughs> Wait, I I don't like this anymore. It's turning on me. No more foids. Uh, no more foids, you're, please. You're <laughs> no, I said <laughs> no more foids. I hear you loud and clear. You're unemployed. Okay. Well. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, good luck, you guys. Yeah, thank <laughs> yeah, you. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>